We're just waiting for you. <laughs> it's We're just rolling. waiting for you. Leave it. We love great moments like this. We're being yelled at by production. Please be nice. Okay. Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. We are here again at the drag stop. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Since this isn't your channel though. Oh, I spoke too soon. <laughs> this is about me. And me. Um, can we redo And our please? opinions. <laughs> can we please restart? <laughs> All right. Here we go. <clears throat> Three. Two and one. Today we will be recapping and reviewing the looks from season 13 of RuPaul's Drag Race. Roll that intro! Back again, hi sis, how are you? Unfortunately, we're back again to <laughs> deal with you again, ladies and yes, gentlemen. Yes, ma'am, the large and in charge diva herself, Miss mm. Trent is in the building, and then there's her. And then there's me, so Cal, tie the raindrop! Well, that's correct now, but not last year. <laughs> Tidy, petite, <laughs> and ready not to eat. All yes. right, sis. What the fuck does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> it's just a saying, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> mm. So, what are you wearing today? Um, Today, I am wearing hair by the one and only Drag Stop, ladies yes. and gentlemen. And this is from your um, discontinued collection, correct? But something like that. <laughs> Stop being shady, ladies. I did not make that, but we will move on. Uh, this is the drag stuff. I made this. It's Courtney Act inspired, and I'm also wearing integration hair, the one and only. Integration? No, sis, I was talking about the wig color on my head. Oh. This is from your discontinued collection, right? I don't know about discontinued, but there's no plans in the works right now. Okay, and then I'm wearing Aura Block. Custom mm, designs. Custom designs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. ABC. A, B, C. A, B, C, D. Aura Black Custom Designs. Aura Black Custom Designs. I can't spell. Um, me neither. All right, so. We're not very bright. We're not very bright. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I heard through the grapevine that you're sitting on a secret. Sitting on a secret. <laughs> um, oh. What is that secret, daughter? I think the secret's sitting on our eyelids. On our eyelids. On our oh, eyelids. Yes. Oh, do you notice anything different about us this week? Oh. Uh, we're wearing lashes Shh. by the drag stop. Lashes by the drag stop. Lashes by the drag stop. One more time. Lashes, lashes by, by the, the drag, drag stop. stop. <laughs> Yes, uh, today I actually launched my own lash line. I have four different styles that were launched today. I have Influencer and Baby Queen. Those are gorgeous. You see the pictures? Yes. And then I have Boss Lady and Mother. I love lashes so much and I just had to go out on a limb and just create the ones that I would wear the most. And I'm going to share that love with you guys. So if you go to dragstop.com, thedragstop.com, you will be able to purchase today. Yay! Okay. Get so. your lashes today. I'm wearing Boss Lady, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, I am the influencer. What are you wearing? <laughs> I'm wearing face? influencer by the, the drugstop. Influencer by the drugstop. All right, sis. So this week we had a disco party. Ooh, 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 Come on, disco. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Which was such a great era yes. and a great moment in time. Yes. I'm a huge fan of the disco. Yes, I think it's a great foundational like move of drag. You know what Steve I mean? Everyone has a disco number. Donna Summer, Diana Ross. Mm -hmm. Disco does very well at brunch. It makes mm -hmm. you all money. And on the runway, the theme was little black dress, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. We have little black dresses on right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, what did you think about the um, runway? But before we get there, what did you think of the wrapping paper challenge? What you, who was your favorite? Any stands out to you? Um, I really liked Mix. I loved Mix yeah. too. Mix is really cute. And I loved um, Lala Ree's um, choice of wrapping paper, the pizza one. Yes. Pizza! Reminds me of George. I love me some Lala Ree. I'm so happy she's like really showing out. Yeah, she's a great personality mm -hmm. too. Yeah. Except the back dress, that was quite a moment. <laughs> down, a, down a history of no tea, no shade, but one of the worst dresses Absolutely. we've seen in a while. All right. Well, it'd be an insult to call that a dress. Oh, sorry. Look? <laughs> Should we say look? <laughs> Sorry, I, I hope I'm not being too hateful, guys. No, they love us. Yeah. Sometimes they think we're a little too nice. Yeah. What's nice? All right. So How do you spell nice? And I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. Okay, so first out of the gate on the runway, we had Miss Tina Burter. What did you think? This is what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 look. She got a little think, hands on with the look. I think Tina, <laughs> Tina Burner is a great performer, mm -hmm. great performer, but sometimes I question her fashion choices. Would you buy that wig? I 
Okay, I thought Tina looked great in the disco challenge. I loved how she wasn't wearing a red wig no. in the disco challenge, but Tina, can we stop with the McDonald's colors, please? <laughs> please, Tina, oh, Tina, no. please, no, Tina, please, no. Leave Tina alone. Tina, leave her alone. No, uh, I just, I don't know. Do you party? No, <laughs> sis. I don't party and no to this look. I'm just going to be honest. She came out with the reveal. I thought the reveal was great, and then she pulled it, and I was like, oh. Yeah. Whoa. It was a little bit of a letdown. And just, yeah, the wig was not my favorite. This dress yeah. kind of reminds me of the dress that Nina West made um, on the first episode yeah. of season 11. Same. And I wasn't a fan of the hair. Uh, Candy Muse, what did you think about this look? I love Aja's dress. Very that, yes. <laughs> no, it, it, it was. No, I think it's very different. Um, but however, it's not a little black dress. Okay, so this is where I'm going to disagree with Sorry. you this, because here's the thing. When you get a theme like this, you can be very literal, but I like when you get a theme like this and you think outside the box, and I also read a lot of the comments on the dress and a lot of people didn't like it. I personally love this look because one, she thought outside the box and it's not literal. Literally, she didn't come yeah. down the runway in a little black dress. Yeah. It's also a match to Lady Gaga's, let me see if I say it right, uh, come to Gus come to Gusson yeah. look. Um, Aja, so what Aja did. Yeah, Aja wore it mm -hmm. as well. <laughs> I liked it. Um, I think Carson said the paint was a little too much on her face, but I thought it was different. It was outside the box. I didn't like the shoe. I think that... But I thought it was great. They just didn't flow for me. The hair was very, like, soft fashion, and the outfit was, like, fuck, what it... Wow, this is, like, a big moment, and it just didn't, like, mesh, and we've seen it before, and it wasn't a black dress. And that is her opinion. That is my opinion. <laughs> no, no, no. But overall, I, I'm sorry, I liked it. Nice. Because I felt like I was a little overwhelmed with this, with this, with this runway. The exit that way. Uh, this way <laughs> and that way. All right. Moving on, we have Got Mick. What'd you think of her tiny little petite? I thought this black tiny dress. little black dress was amazing. It's something I don't think we've seen before, or I, I personally haven't seen before. Um, I think that it was phenomenal. Thoughts on this look, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> was I I loved it. Oh, oh I was see? gonna fight you. However, <laughs> I'm gonna disagree with you again today. Oh, we're just having oh. so many disagree moments because this kind of does remind me because you want to bring up candy that reminds you of Asha. Okay. This reminds me of Valentina's look for the Madonna challenge when Valentina came down the runway naked and only had like two. Uh, that black. was a sensor bar. This is a little black yeah. dress. Yeah, but I don't know. I, I, I see... I, I don't know. You, see, you don't see a difference. No, I don't see a difference. Well, I don't think you see a difference between a smoky eye and a cut crazy either. Oh, no, so. here we go. Now she's going to attack me. I'm not shocked. I thought this look was very good as well and it was outside the box <laughs> because it's not literal and I yeah. loved it. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Next up, we have Ms. Elliot with two T's. Elliot with two T's. She looks great. I think the hair was a little off or flat. I would have liked it to have a little bit more volume and style to it, but other than that, I think she looked phenomenal. I loved the little black uh, pantyhose she had on. Yeah, I really liked her look. It was a little black dress. And welcome to the stage, Paula Abdul, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's being nice today. Okay. I love Elliot. I think she's a great dancer. She performed very well in this yeah, series, this show challenge. today, you yeah. know, and I really liked it. So, um, remember, this is RuPaul's Drag Race. Mm -hmm. So, with this look, I was a little sad because I wanted more. I like the cape. Did you take too much melatonin last night? I like the cape. <laughs> Love the cape. The hair was a little, like we said, meh. Yeah. Yeah, it was a little But black. this to me is, I'm going to wear this to brunch for the meet and greet. Yeah. It, what, it didn't scream. Well, the only thing I don't like either is like when a girl walks out, like walks out and then immediately just takes off a jacket. Like, leave it. You don't need it. Like, the challenge was a little black dress. I don't think... She needed the coat this, at all. This is literal. I think outside the box. Yeah. All right, moving on. That's how I feel about this look. Moving on, we have Tamisha Iman is coming for you, who unfortunately we had to say goodbye to this week. Mm -hmm. But Tamisha is going to have her All Star Redemption. You wait and yes, see. She, oh. I don't like this dress. Like Michelle said, it really does take away from her shape. But we did learn that Miss Tamisha Iman has an ostomy bag. And, you know, that may be why some of the garments don't hug her as tight as other, the other contestants. And I love that she said that I'm not using it as an excuse, but I'm letting you know. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, I agree with you on that. Yeah. I was also watching Watch Packing mm -hmm. with Ms. Michelle Visage, and she was asking her about this look. So apparently, with this look, um, she it was supposed to be more stone and more elaborate, mm -hmm. but she said she forgot um, the fabric at home and oh. the stones on the table the day before she was supposed to leave to drag race. Wow. She just had a make it work moment. I thought the dress was cute. Yeah. It reminds me of something I would wear to my husband's funeral. But I thought Tamisha looked stunning this week. So you're married and I'm just all alone forever. Yeah, sorry about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, was it my favorite? No, it falls down there with Elliot with two teeth. Oh. All right, moving on, we have... The Olivia, Olivia Lux. Lux. Oh! <laughs> That's why we're related. Uh, what did you think, sis? <laughs> <laughs> I thought she looked phenomenal. I love her hair. I love her outfit. I love the lining of this dress. <laughs> apparently well, there's she a said, backstory. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you follow her on social media, apparently mm -hmm. there's the lining. This is the lining to the dress that mm -hmm. she was supposed to get made, but wasn't yeah. made on time. Bitch, I can't tell. No. It looks I, great. This is giving me very 80s. Mm -hmm. um, I love the hair. I love the hair color. And let's play homage to her tiny little purse. Yes. That she came out with. She loves those. I think this is the second one she's had, right? Possibly the third. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I love the those. third. Uh, the difference between this look and the other two. I thought this was a little more elevated. Yes, it's still a little more black dress, but it's giving us an 80s vibe to it. Yeah. All right, moving on, we have... Utica. 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 Which of it? <laughs> I think, I got it as immediately. I saw the little earring thing and I was like, oh my gosh, she looks phenomenal. Yes, maybe, you know, if you don't have a designer's eye or you're not like focused on costuming your entire fucking life and had nothing else to do. Then you might not get it, you know, but I got it. And I don't think it looked great. <laughs> so I thought she was a witch when she came out. I was like, I'm a witch! And Not a witch. I was like, wait, what? Why is there a hanger on her? Witch, witch, bitch. Why is there a hanger on her hat? And then I was like, okay, well, She's I like the gold. No, I didn't get it until she like, Maybe I got it, maybe two minutes into the runway when I noticed yeah. the earrings were matching. I was like, oh, she's a fucking earring. Mm -hmm. uh, fucking a earring. fucking earring. Uh, <laughs> did I love the look? I thought it was outside the box. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a great look. Yeah. I thought it was better than what some other girls were wearing. Mm -hmm. um, I thought she looked great. Yeah, and I love the gold. Like we said, like a lot of people didn't get it. The judges mm -hmm. didn't get it. Mm -hmm. But like that's what fashion is. Yeah. You either love it, hate it, or don't get it. Yeah, absolutely. And she thought outside the box. I loved All right, it. moving on, we have... Ms. Denali Fox. Come on, Denali Fox. The Black Widow of the stage. <laughs> she looked like a spider girl. I love this look. As soon as she raised her arms, I said tense across the board. This is one of, my, one of my favorite looks this mm -hmm. week because not only it's outside the box, she but no wrong. it is a Black Widow bitch. Yeah. And when you think of little black dress, yep. you think of a Black Widow. I love when she took her hat off and she had the fucking eyes on her mm -hmm. forehead. She thought of it all. The only thing is... The only thing, here we go, because I have to say it, I didn't like the beading effect on the front of the dress. Oh. I wish the dress was a little longer, but well, dresses I... dresses that aren't from Fashion Nova have a little bit more detail. What's Fashion Nova? <laughs> <laughs> um, I did love the spider web, the arm moment, yes. and the, the, the fascinator was cute. Mm -hmm. She looked great this week. Yeah? That's my bitch. She's coming for my Fashion Nova. Uh... Okay, moving on, we have Jose, ladies and gentlemen. And what did you think, sis? Daughter. I think she looked great. I hated it. I hated it. <laughs> I tried. I tried. I really tried. I, I love her so much. Oh, I just. I don't. Next. <laughs> well, there. You, that's how I felt about this look. That's okay. In the hair my doesn't opinion, help in at all. our opinion, and don't send hate, ladies and gentlemen. This was not my favorite. I just feel like she's being cut not off. Not the worst. No, not the worst. I feel like she's being cut off right no. here at the neck, and all I see is just ruffles mm -hmm. and like a bobble head. I mean, I get the silhouette. It's like she's like, look at my little black dress. But like, I don't know. I just I want to see rose behind that, and I don't. I just see like a blob. Yeah, and the hair color was not my favorite. I didn't know gray wigs were still a thing. I I have a lot in stock. Shop mm -hmm. with the dress. We'll burn them now. Okay, moving on. We have <laughs> <laughs> La La Ri. La La Ri. What'd you think? I think that I loved this dress. It's a little too short. I saw her trying to pull it down on the runway. <laughs> the length. <laughs> but I loved how she accessorized it. I love her hair. Girl, she just looks like a full fucking glamazon. I I I see Lala Ria and I'm like, <sighs> stunning. I fall in love with her. Great her personality. Great personality. This was a step up from last week's yeah. runway. However, here we go. April's gonna say however. This to me. <laughs> 
<laughs> is what I would wear mm -hmm. after my show when I would walk around to get a cocktail at the bar or something. It's just not, to me, it's not up to par of like, you know, runway for drag race. Ladies and gentlemen, it's we put, cannot. It's very, it's put very well. She looks stunning, but I don't know. I feel she could have done so much more. I think that it is wrong to have such a high expectation for a challenge called Little Black Dress. But you can do so much. Yes, but like, how many, how many, how much can you do? But then how many Little Black Dresses are we going to walk? I wouldn't be surprised if the producers have a, have a bin of this and they didn't even tell them. They said, there's some black dresses over there. Do what the fuck you want. Like, I feel like that's what it looked like. But like, we can't judge them, you know? Like... I, I don't just know. Think it's I just such feel a like weird challenge. If weird you were runway. given this, yeah, it was very weird. If you were mm -hmm. given this challenge or this runway, just really sit and yeah. take your time to think about it. I don't know how much time they had to get ready, mm. but I just felt like, like I said, it was underwhelmed this week. They could have done mm -hmm. so much more. Yeah, it's not our normal like high fashion, you know. Yeah. All right, moving on. But Lala Reed looked amazing. Yes. And last, and let the. <laughs> and last but not least, the supreme hostess of the night, Miss RuPaul Charles, wearing ruffles again, ladies and gentlemen. Now, sashay <laughs> away, Trenta. Bye. Ah, Bye. Oh, <laughs> you can't push the elderly, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. Get in your hospital bed. <laughs> <laughs> Help, I fall and I can't get up. Okay, I thought Ru looked sickening, no? Yeah, more ruffles. She loves ruffles this yeah. season. I thought the updo was stunning and yep. the color palette was beautiful. Everything looks great. Thank you so much for having me again and again and again. I'm just like a tumor that won't go away, aren't I? Well, I have an announcement <laughs> to make. What's the announcement? So, um, for All Stars, we um, are going to have to cast, so unfortunately we don't know if we're going to be having you back, but you can send in your audition tape by um, next week and we will take you in consideration for next season. <laughs> Bye, sis! <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, so it's me. Oh, oh, great, she's back. Okay, hi. I've talked to the manager, and I am now the owner of this channel. So. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking cannot. I'm totally kidding, sis. Daughter, I love you. I'm totally kidding, sis. Thank you so much See, for joining me. See, people stutter when they lie. <laughs> that, is, that is, people stutter when please, they lie. Please, please don't come for me, please. <laughs> Is that what you were saying? She you always me? catches me in a lie because when I start stuttering or laughing, she's, she's like, like, I she's know like, you're lying to me. She can't look at you and she starts stuttering. I don't like to be confronted. Well, okay, so thank you for joining me each week. I truly course. appreciate it. Thank I'm you. having so much fun doing this with me you. Too. Don't forget to give Trent a cup a follow at Trent a cup and at the drag stop. And they can give me a follow where, if you remember my handle, because apparently she muted It's going to be, it's April Showers on Instagram. Yes. And, and April Showers Official on, oh wait, girl, say your own fucking handle. <laughs> she doesn't even know she <laughs> muted me, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> say your own fucking handle. <laughs> you can follow me I don't know where to find this It's bitch. April Showers Official, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and don't forget to like, comment, and hit the subscription button on this channel. Yes, we have more content coming for you, and we're excited for next week's challenge. We don't know the runway yet, but there's going to be some more drama. Unfortunately, we had to say goodbye to Tamisha Iman. That was one of my favorites this season. Yeah. And but if you love Tamisha Iman, buy my lashes. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Oh, oh and don't, don't forget to get your lashes, ladies yes. and gentlemen. All right, and time for the dance break. That's a wrap. Oh, I love.